Hi Church, welcome to this week's devotions. My name's Darren, one of the pastors here at Audacious Church and I just want to um, introduce this week's devotions. They're going to be um, several different people talking about who Jesus is to them. It is Easter Monday, the day after Easter Sunday, the day of Easter Sunday was victorious, eternal victory, a once and for all statement, the stone rolled away, our Saviour risen, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, Prince of Peace and King of Kings. And he is who we are looking at this week. I want to talk about Jesus as Lord, not just Saviour. Romans 10 verse 9 says, if you declare with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. I know that Jesus is my savior, that he laid down his life for me so that I could be saved, live in freedom and have a relationship with God the Father. I'm thankful that I'm saved and that heaven is my final destination. But before then, I need to declare Jesus as my Lord. And as he laid down his life for me, I will lay down my life for him. That he will have my all, my submission, my surrender, and that in everything I will be obedient. Jesus is Lord is a profound declaration that resonates deep within my being. It's not just words. It's a heartbeat of my faith. The anchor of my soul in a world filled with uncertainty and chaos, acknowledging Jesus as Lord brings clarity and purpose to my life. It means surrendering my will to his, trusting in his wisdom and love to guide me through every storm. Jesus is not just a historical figure or a distant deity. He is living embodiment of peace, grace and truth. His lordship shapes my thoughts, directs my actions and fills my heart with hope. In Jesus, I find my strength, my joy and my eternal home. He is my Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and in him I place my unwavering faith. Jesus is Lord now and evermore. For me, Jesus being the Lord of my life isn't just some distant religious idea. It's personal, it's real, and it's life-changing. I've walked through enough ups and downs like you to know I can't do it all on my own. There's something about surrendering to Jesus that brings a peace and purpose can't find anywhere else. He's not just a figure from history. Like I said, he's someone I talk to when I'm confused, someone I lean on when I'm weak, and someone who fills me with hope when things seem impossible. Jesus being the Lord of my life isn't about rules and rituals. It's about relationship. It's about knowing that no matter what I face, I'm not alone. We are not alone because he's right there with us, guiding me, loving me, and shaping me into the person he created me to be. So, yes, Jesus is Lord of my life because in him I found everything I need and more. Love you, church. Have a great day and look forward to seeing you soon. And I hope you enjoyed this week's devotions of who Jesus is.